Okay, salam alaikum. It's always difficult to talk one's, uh, when everyone's eating. Uh, but let me remind you of um, one famous sheikh. Um, he said, um, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Of course, this was Shakespeare, a um, different kind of sheikh, of course. Um, but please, just lend me your ears, because media engagement is very important. It's very important to me, personally. I've been um, a student of some of yours, from um, Imam Abdullah, we've seen um, Imam Qasim. So many faces, and I'm very, very honored to be stood here today speaking to you, alhamdulillah. But media engagement is important. Why? Because like me, I'm sure you agree, you're sick and tired of seeing in the headlines of extremist, terrorist, these Islamophobic news items which are just perpetuated, accelerated. We see them amplified in every small little action that a Muslim does. So it's important that we play our role in the media to play the positive messages and spread the beautiful message of Islam. Now that's what British Muslim TV are doing and we're trying to be accessible to everyone. That's why we're free to view on Sky Channel 845. We're streamable online free. We're even on free view via Vision TV on 244. So we're accessible to everyone, but that's not enough. It's not enough and it's important that our Imams, our leaders, our respected elders, brothers and sisters, represent ourselves, the beautiful message of Islam, positively in the media. So this is a very, very important award. Um, so on behalf of everyone at British Muslim TV, on to you, we want to thank you personally for all the work you're doing. They're all cliche, but everyone is a winner. But the winner of this prestigious award goes to Imam Qari Asim for outstanding contribution to media engagement. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Once again, I'd like to thank the organizers, the sponsors, the participants, and more importantly, those who've nominated me without me knowing about it. I would like to dedicate this award to all the Imams who are doing fantastic work in terms of removing some of the misconceptions that exist about Islam in, in the British, British media. Partly I've been involved in engaging with British media is to remove some of the misconceptions that exist about Islam. And really the audience being the 60 million people that, are, that live in this country. How do we make inroads in their understanding of what Islam is? And how do we, very little drop in a big ocean, that we actually change their perception about Islam. Today, obviously, mainstream media, but this one device, small device, that's everyone's pocket. And everyone is able to access and learn about Islam. My appeal to Imams is really to, uh, mashallah, already doing fantastic work, but even go beyond it and actually try to use the digital space to make inroads and make, you know, change the perception of Islam in the, in the British, amongst the British citizens. Uh, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he accepts whatever humble efforts we make. And I, I also like to thank my family, in particular my wife, who is a great a source of inspiration and also her sacrifices, I think, have enabled me to do little bit that I've been able to do so. So Jazakallah khair.